The progress that is happening in the city of Wilmington is extraordinary. And if you just take the time to walk the blocks, and within walking distance, an easy walk of where we are right here, and you see the developments on uh, Market Street, you see the, uh, the project where the, uh, the parking lot uh, used to be, where they're, they're going to be building 231 uh, new units, this particular project, 10 units for the Creative District. These are exactly the kinds of investments that any city would want. And it's happening right here around us in Wilmington. Anytime you have uh, vacant houses being renovated, it's a good thing and it gets rid of blight. And as I stated when I was speaking today, that anytime when you see construction going on, concrete being poured, uh, buildings being renovated, the city is well alive. And when we get these 10 houses built, we'll move on to something else, probably right close to here, and we'll start renovating this neighborhood and bringing this neighborhood back. As you know, this neighborhood's been around for over 100 years. This project really does what it's supposed to do, which is turning dilapidated vacant properties that were once positive asset for the community, uh, turning them from that negative asset back to being another uh, positive asset and helping increase the value, helping with the public safety, and helping also the economic development side of it. The artists in the community, um, the artists that want to come here and the community that lives here, um, we need to help build bridges and, and common ground between those two groups, um, which isn't a difficult endeavor. It's just a really important part of the process of filling the vacancies of these vacant properties with new residents, um, making sure that they you know, get to know the neighborhood and get to know the people that live here, many of which are already artists in their own right, um, and that we you know, start to, to infill that vacancy and, and to build that community here. All of these properties are currently vacant, so one of the one of the more direct benefits that we're going to be able to, to achieve as a result of this project is not only to create home ownership in, a, in a, a historic neighborhood that really is in desperate need of more home ownership, but we're we're going to be engaging in revitalizing the, of the community and stabilizing uh, housing structures that have have for the all intents and purposes, been unstable for a while.